but I bet they do the same thing. $5.99 or $19.99. Does this ever happen to you? Pigs in a blanket burn and stick to a flat cookie sheet. Ooh. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you a copper tray. A copper tray. Did we not review that a few weeks ago? We sure did. This time I found the copper crisper from Copper Crisper from Copper Chef. The amazing crisping fryer that works in your oven. The Copper Chef. So the last copper tray that I reviewed was the Gotham Steel brand. And now I have the Copper Chef copper tray, crisper tray, whatever it is. So I'm about to open this and I'll bet you $5 they're the exact same tray. But I have a little twist for you guys today. While I was shopping for this, I actually purchased this at Walmart. I'm not Amazon this time. But while I was at Walmart, right underneath the shelf where this one was stacked, guess what I found? This cheap crisper tray. This cost me $5.99. So we're gonna put them up against each other. We're gonna put up the Copper Crisper by Copper Chef, $19.99, up against this Wilton Bake It Better Oven Crisper Tray. Not copper, it's black, but I bet they do the same thing. $5.99 or $19.99. I've had my oven preheating. It is now at 425 degrees. Today we're gonna do french fries again, just like we did with the Gotham Steel crisper tray, just so that we can also compare it back to that guy. Remember, that did not work too well. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready for the same exact product? Voila, same thing. I'm not even shocked anymore. Like, I'm on to you guys. We're on to you guys, right? My goodness, same exact tray. Same itty bitty. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who are they fooling? Who are they fooling? Not me, I'm on to them. Okay, so here's the tray. Now we do know that this tray works very well. The air circulates all around. That's why you never have to flip your food. Let me take this off this guy. So as you can see, this one's considerably bigger than this one. Look, you see? $5.99, $19.99. You're paying $19.99 for copper spray paint because not real copper. We know that already. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're both gonna do the same thing? I bet they do. Look, here are fries baked on a cookie sheet. Look at them here in the copper crisper. Now, the crisper tray claims to turn your oven into a air fryer, which is a bull. Somebody said that's such a crock of shit because an air fryer has air moving in the actual machine. My oven does not have air moving the heat around. So there is no way possible that this thing is turning my oven into an air fryer. So that right there, we're taking Vivian heads off for that. This one didn't claim that. This one just said it, it'll crisp up your food. I have a bag of fries right here. Let me go rinse these off and we'll get started. Okay, done, 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 done. And I'm putting them up here on my box because I don't wanna to have to move my camera to zoom in. So hopefully you guys can see them right here. I think you can, right? This is perfect. This is gonna work out beautifully. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to put the same amount of french fries in both trays. And I actually think this one might work better. Other open mesh crisping trays drop crumbs and drip grease. The copper crisper comes with this handy nonstick copper chef cookie sheet. Look how tiny that is compared to this one. So which one has more space for more fries? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So I bet this one works better because more heat can get in there. This one, like a baby, a little baby family can, can use that. Okay, so here's some fries. Okay, one handful for that guy. One handful for that guy. One handful for that guy. Okay, we're not gonna overfill. We're gonna have to face the amount of what we're gonna put in both of them based on this little baby little tray. Because I wanna put the same amount in both, but this one has limited space. And then they're gonna go in the oven, 30 minutes. That's what I did last time. 30, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 30 minutes in the oven. I'm saying they're about even now. I don't wanna put too many in this guy because I just don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, so here's what we have guys. 
I know this one looks like it does not have as much, but it does. It's just a bigger tray. They do have the same amount. Spread them out evenly. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven and we will be back in 30 minutes. Voila, 32 minutes later, this is what we have. They don't look horrible. I think they both need a little bit more time in the oven. But of course, my big tray here looks like it has more fries that are cooked than this guy does. We're gonna... The trays are still steaming hot. I don't know why I just took my gloves off. <laughs> Let's put the gloves back on and then try to um, cut one of these suckas in half to see if they're raw or if they're cooked. Okay, here's a good one from the black tray. Nice and cooked, right? Perfect. They could be a little bit crispier if you like them like that. I like them nice and meaty, but these are definitely cooked. Now, let's grab one from the copper tray. Okay, there it is. Let's see. Ooh, these are crispier. You can't hear it, but they're definitely crispy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's take another one from the copper tray. They are cooked. Okay, not bad. Let me get another one from here. Let's see. They're cooked, but they're not as crispy. Okay, so there you go. The ones that I have grabbed from the copper tray are just as cooked as the ones from the black Wilton tray, but the ones in the copper tray are definitely crispier. I don't know if it's the copper tray underneath that is helping the fries get crispier. The secret is the elevated nonstick mesh tray allows heated air to pass through and circulate around all 360 degrees of your food. This one obviously doesn't have a tray underneath. I'm gonna have to say that the copper pan definitely made crispier fries. So, I'll shut up now. The copper tray is doing a little extra compared to just a basic tray. So if you wanna cook these for a little bit longer, you might still be able to make this tray work. If not, maybe you should get the copper tray. That is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up in the comments down below. Let me know if you know of any cool kitchen or food products you want me to try. They might be in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your family and friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.